So you might be trying to figure out how to change your caller ID name on Google or on your Android phone. Now, doing this is actually very basic and it really doesn't take too much time. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to hop inside of your specific Google application. You can do that by swiping to the side on your phone or you can just click on the G on the search engine and you'll come into this page. Now, what you're going to want to do is you want to tap on your profile icon that's in the top right corner and you want to go ahead and open up your Google account. So tap on your Google account right there and go and open up the specific application. Now, when you do this, what you're going to want to do is you want to go and scroll over to personal information. Now, within this panel, you're going to see a lot of personal information on your device, as you probably would have expected. But right under name, which is right here, what you're going to want to do is you want to go and tap on that little name option right there. And this name is basically going to be the name in which your caller ID and everything associated with your account for the most part is going to display as. So if you're getting a device like this, you have to remember that this device, that this name is basically going to be the name that's tied to your specific account. So what you can do here is tap into here and you can change this name to whatever you want to. So at the first name, you want to change it to whatever you want to change it to. You can change these letters. You can change the complete name. You can delete everything, put everything back in. Like It's completely up to you. And you basically have that option of doing that here, which is so cool. Now, the last name, basically the same exact thing. You can change that name to whatever you want to in this specific situation as well. And you have the ability of doing that here too, which is so awesome. Now from here, you can go and change again, whatever else you want to. But then whenever you're done, you can click save and that will basically do it. That is essentially how it's done. It's a super basic process. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.